So the problem you see, so the same example is given as a problem. So RC1 is 3K, RC2 is 500 ohm, RE is 50 ohm, R dash equal to RS equal to 1.2K, HFE is 50, HIE is 1.1K and all other parameters are assumed to be zero. They are asking us to find the parameters of the amplifier. So first one, current gain AI equal to minus IC2 by IS. And IC2 by IB2, we are using the same uh, simplification, IC2 by IB2, IB2 by IC1, IC1 by IB1, IB1 by IS. So this one is HFE, this one is HFE, we know. So find IB2 by IC1 equal to minus RC1 by RC1 RI2. For that, first you have to find RI2. Formula for RI2 is simple, HIE plus 1 plus HFE into RE parallel to R dash. RE is 50 ohms. And R dash is 1.2K. So if you find parallel combination, it will be less than 50. And you can see the value of RI2 is 3.55K. So substitute that here. We get IB2 by IC1 equal to minus 458. Now the other thing, find the input side value of R. R is equal to R as parallel to R dash plus RE. So it is 0.612 ohms. So find IB1 by IS. So it is R by R plus HIE. So it is 0.35. 8. Now substitute everything in the expression for AI. So minus 50 into minus 0.458 into 50 into 0.358 equal to 410. So this is the, you can see the current is amplified by a factor of 410 without feedback. Now find beta. Beta is equal to RE by R dash plus RE. RE is 50 and R dash is 1.2k and you can see the beta value is very very less. It is just 4 percentage. And find out D. D is 1 plus beta into AI. It is 17.4. So I can find AAF. AAF is 23.6. Effectively, the current gain is 23.6 with feedback. You know when you apply negative feedback, the gain will reduce. So that is evident in the expression for AIF. And already we have a simplified expression for AVF. So AVF equal to AIF into RC2 by RS. So AVF equal to AIF is 23.6 into 0.5 by 1.2, you get 9.83. So it amplifies the voltage by 9.83 times. Okay, and the approximate formula, if you find RC2 by beta into RS, you get 10.4. So it is, you have, they say that if you use actual formula and the approximate formula, there's an error of 6%, which is very large. And finally, RI is going to be R parallel to HIE, R value we got. 6.612k parallel to HIE is 1.1, so it will be less than 6.612 uh, ohms. So you get 394 ohms as the input resistance. So input resistance is very, very less, which indicates that the circuit might draw more current from the source. This will lay, lead to draining of the source. And RIF is even more less. You see, feedback is just 22.6 ohms which is a very dangerous value of resistance. It is almost like a short circuit, right? So it will damage your base. So th that is the only drawback of the current chain feedback amplifier because the input resistance will be very, very less, which is not advisable for a transistor operating in common emitter configuration. And R0 is infinity, you know, and R0 uh, F is also going to be infinity. And R0 dash is going to be equal to RC2. And RC2 value, it is given 500 ohms. And R0 F dash is also equal to RC2. So if you know the formulas, or at least you know the diagram and how to derive the formulas, these problems will become very handy for you. You can solve the problems and you can uh, save more amount of time. So this is all we have about uh, current shunt feedback amplifier.